why on earth would someone want to do a hundred different globes? Well, it's really been a journey for me, something I started in my garage, working on sketches of globes I've been doing for years. Really a pathway, an experimentation of what this canvas, this metaphor of the earth could be. And I have to say, it's been uh, phenomenally powerful, not just for me, but for all the people that have gotten involved and have come here to Jet Gallery in downtown San Diego over the past four weeks. Globe means world, means collaboration. My goal has been to connect as many different collaborators or worlds on this ring of pearls to become involved with the 100 Worlds Project. So we have 50 photographers who wanted to shoot the globes, people who've helped me actually do touch screens, and all the craftsmen and makers that have actually been part of the process. Because I believe that everyone in ultimately is a creative being, and what better way to do our best work but actually to collaborate and work together. There have been two key questions that keep coming up about the 100 Worlds Project. One has been, what's your favorite globe? And in fact, I realize I don't have a favorite globe. It's the family that I really enjoy the most. It's the variety, and one next to the other makes them look different. It's the iterations that I really enjoy the most. And the second question I've been getting really frequently is, hey, when are you going to do the next 50 globes? And I find that one pretty curious as well, because I'm not real clear where the 100 Worlds Project wants to go. I know it's not finished, but I think it means a lot more people are going to get involved in where it wants to go from here. And that part makes me really excited that it's just the beginning.